Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be avoiding failure to ensure success. Well, I've got an email here. This is actually the second email that I've answered for this particular guy. The first one that I answered was a while back called No Shortcuts to Success. And this guy details how he initially found my work, started to have some success with it, got cocky and full of himself, didn't read the book 10 to 15 times, and guess what? He learned the hard way. Well, now he's read the book close to 50 times, and obviously he's had some really great success stories, which he shares. So I got a quote that I wrote, and I'm going to go through his email and see what has changed. The quote says, not everyone you like, want to associate with, or give you what you want and need is going to feel the same way. Continuous circulation is the key to life and perpetual opportunity. Focus and action towards what you want to create provides knowledge, wisdom, skill refinement, ability enhancement, practice, and results. Mastery of anything requires time and repetition. That's why there's no shortcuts to success. Go through his email. Hi, Coach. I've written you before in 2015 in which you used in the video titled No Shortcuts to Success. So it's close to three years ago. So this is, you know, long. This guy's been following me for a while. He says, I stopped reading your book and thought that I had it all figured out. Yes, I was that guy. Come on, man. Fast forward to November 2016, I met a girl who blew me away, but it didn't last. This hit me hard because the last person I dated that knocked my socks off was 18 months prior. Well, you've probably heard me say before in the past, typically I found it personally in my own life, the, the type of woman that comes along and knocks your fucking socks off that you like click on every level with, that you kind of feel like a soul to soul connection. They come along about every three to four years is what I've personally experienced. So those one, those really sting because let's face it, beautiful women are a dime a dozen, but beautiful women that you really click with and who really dig you from the start, those are really rare. And you've got to be prepared for when they happen because when you fuck those up, it, it, they don't that pain doesn't go away in a couple of days or a week or two. She got away because I had only read your book three times at that point, so I didn't know it well enough. Well, as I've said many, 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 many times over the years, your success might be attainable if you only read the book a couple of times or you cherry pick from the videos, but it's not going to be sustainable because you need to know pickup skills, dating skills, and relationship skills. And if you're missing one of the three, it's just a matter of time before it goes sideways on you. After this incident, I got back to basics. I must have read it over 50 times because I stopped counting last month at attempt 48. That's pretty good. That's somebody that's determined. And why do you think he read it 48 times instead of just 10 to 15? Because he got a lot of fucking pain from that experience in November 2016, which was a little over a year ago. That's People will do more to avoid pain than they'll do to gain pleasure. And so when you have like a really bad pain of rejection from losing a really awesome woman like that that's the kind of thing that makes you go that's it fucking never again it's when you hit the wall when you realize that your belief system ain't working for you in other words after reading it three times i got this i got it all figured out i don't i don't need to listen to that shaved head fuck telling me i need to read his fucking stupid book for 10 to 15 times he can kiss my ass well turns out that shaved head fuck knew what he was talking about in September 2017, at my brother's wedding, I met a complete 10 and we exchanged numbers. She called me the next day and two days later, we went on our first date. We kissed on the first date and she kept chasing subsequently while I set dates. On the second date, she evaded heading to my place, which was no problem as I had a backup whom I called upon. He had multiple options, entertaining multiple offers, if you will. <clears throat> this helped me put in check and prevent neediness. You're spot on about having options. Unfortunately, it didn't last beyond four dates as I realized she was the type who wanted a man to take over her bills and high class lifestyle and held back sex till I did so despite spending the night at my place on the third date. 
Trust me, coach, I must have listened to the chapter in the gradual process of seduction countless times in a day alone. Well, there are women out there that will do that. They will purposely withhold sex and affection to get what they want. That's how they negotiate. And with time, that tends to decline. Their position of leverage, if you will, tends to decline with age. That's the sad reality. Prior to meeting your work, I would have agreed to her terms, but after one more date, said to myself, fuck it, and walked away. Good for you, dude. A chick with a good attitude is easygoing. She's going to pull that bullshit with you. Life is just too short. She learned that, obviously, probably from her family, and that's... You ain't going to change her, man. A month later, while at another wedding reception having fun, I posted videos of it. Little did I know that a hot girl whom I met online several months back but never in person messaged me because of the videos and asked where I was to come and have some fun too. Non-attachment. Putting out the invitation and then letting it go and forgetting about it. Because you never know what's going on in a woman's life or what guys happen to be in her life. And if she's in contact with you, maybe just following you on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, and things change for her and she sees, wow, look at this guy having all this fucking fun. I should get involved in some of that. And then boom, she reaches out. That's why you don't burn a bridge. Give me a call if you change your mind. Sometimes they do. I told her where I was and called her bluff just to get a call an hour later that she was around. I didn't believe it. What doesn't surprise me one bit? You stack the deck in your favor. We went to two other venues from there before heading to my place at midnight. We now see each other twice a month. Funny, the same week she came, I already had two girls lined up to come spend the week between them and my place, but I had to reschedule. I just had the best few nights ever with a girl whom I met online or under a month ago. Surprisingly, it seems like every girl I meet gives me a better sexual experience than the previous. Or maybe you're just getting better. I had my first threesome all night with her and her female best friend, which was mind-blowing. My penis got sore in the morning. I know, poor baby. I finally started my business in October 2017, thanks to your guidance, as I thought it would take six months to commence just for it to end up taking exactly two years. It happens. Like you, I had to sleep on my dad's couch for two years. I will keep on listening to your book on Audible Weekly, even though I am having a great run to ensure I don't make the same mistake, mistakes as I once made, thinking I got it figured out after a breakup. Well, keep in mind, you've got a lot of experience pickup and dating, but as far as the relationship stuff, you really haven't had a lot of experience implementing those things. So keep that in mind as a potential blind spot. Even though you read it 40, 50 times, you really – it's only potential power. It only becomes power when you're actually applying it and using it. So just keep that in mind. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Thank you. Well, obviously, I got this email back in December, but it usually takes a month or two for things to kind of filter through the system with everything I've got lined up to get to an email. So if you send an email right away hoping that I answer it in a video newsletter, very rarely will it get answered in a, in a week or two. It usually takes a month or, or so. And I pick the best ones, ones that I haven't talked a lot about or maybe I've talked about in a while or something that can give a unique spin or perspective. But this one I like because there's a guy that said, hey, I fucked up. I didn't learn the book and it cost me a really good girl. And then he changed his mind. Now he's read the thing close to 50 times and now he's got lots of opportunities in his life. He's got lots of options and he has choice. And when you have choice, that's what gives you the power. That's what puts you in an abundance mentality where you don't feel worried about losing a particular woman because there's so many other great suitable choices. That's true abundance. And from a negotiation perspective, that's the superior position of leverage that you always ideally want to be in. So for those of you that would like to get my help, maybe you're in a situation or a challenge that you need help with, go to my website, click the products tab at the top of your screen and book whatever coaching option works for you. And I will talk to you soon. <laughs>